think it's really important to include parents of a child with a disability in decision making and listening to those views. Just to start respecting the views of parents and realising that we know and they know what's best, you know, what's best for our children really. Talk to parents, see what really, you know, what you can be done. We have a disabilities forum and we have parent carers well represented, I think. We have agreed five places and said, but if more parents want to turn up, that's absolutely fine. So I think that's the way that um, parents' voice can be heard. You've got to make sure you have a really strong interplay between the people who commission services, the people who are providing services, and the people who are receiving services. If you, that is, for me, in, to me, that is the only way you will ever achieve quali good quality services. It is about getting out there at community venues, you know, being in the town centre where there's lots of parents around. There are support groups out there where, pa where parents are um, and just go into there and just talk and just talk to, to, you know, talk to parents face to face. That's what they really want. There's two particular models we're using in Telford and Reakin at the moment and one is around having the service leads come to the committee meetings and speak to the parents about a specific work piece of work that's going on within that service at the time. The other model is around parents actually sitting on strategic panels talking around the table with professionals about key situations going on at that time. I was frightened. I used to feel slightly intimidated by the professionals. They always thinking that they knew best. When in actual fact, I suddenly realised, do you know what? They don't know. They don't know my child like me. So I decided, do you know what? I will stand up. I will find out what's out there. I will find out who I need to speak to. I will have my say. We meet once a month as a forum. Um, alternative months evening and daytime meetings so that we try and meet everybody's needs. It doesn't matter if you are not the sort of person who doesn't who likes coming to a meeting or that you'd never actually think of writing in. I want to work with the services that work with you who would say that family needs a break or they need some support. We have a regular newsletter which we goes out to all the parents who are involved in our uh, our network of parents. I think sometimes we have to be um, creative of it, you know, thinking outside the box of how we get the service to the family. We have uh, worked with our parents group to uh, establish a, uh, a texting service. We've been um, emailing out the draft so that the family can make any amendments they want um, in an informal way. And we found we've had a much better um, response that way than when we used to send out the statutory assessment in a formal envelope with a letter. And when we've done some consultation meetings, we have tried to have them at different times. We have tried to have them um, both in the daytime and in the evening to make sure that um, uh, families uh, can, can participate. You need space to meet. I think you need time to meet and I think you know these parents are all volunteers, they're all acting, you know, doing this on, on top of the day job of caring for their children and young people. Um, I, think, I think you need to be in a position to provide those parents and carers with training. Parents all together, fathers, carers, mums, we all can, if we have a say, all, you know, willing to stand up and say, Look, no, this is not right. This, you can't do this to the services because this is what we need. Then, hopefully, by working alongside the professionals, they will listen and we'll get somewhere near a decent service that we need rather than at the moment, there's a lot we don't need, but the stuff we really need, we're not getting. Pods are a fantastic uh, parent-led um, forum um, their parents opening doors. We held a conference, we've got a database with about 100 families on, we're just working now on, on um, we've, we've produced newsletters, uh, we've, got a, we've got 12 um, strong, really, really strong committee members. Pods are not just about the, the really hard working committee side of things, they're also a database of parents that can be used for whether it's postal, um, information or taking part in, in consultations via email. Our parent steering group meets on a regular basis. I, I attend periodically as, as, and my role is almost just as like an advisor to the group, but it's their meeting, it is their group, I am their guest. 
The um, Parent Carers Forum has been established under the Aiming High and in um, conjunction with the participation work at Treehouse and at Markfield. And um, they have worked really hard in making contact with any support group of parents that's going on. They can join us on interview panels so that when we're interviewing staff they're able to bring that experience of who the staff are that we employ that will be good at this. They, we're encouraging parents to come on to decision-making panels, decision-making groups. The professionals will talk to you, but you've got to be willing to talk to them. It's not, it's a two-way thing. It's not, you shout, they don't listen. It's, we talk, because that's what I found with a lot of parents. When you talk to them, they say, I, they won't do it, so I shouted, but I say, yeah. I know that as I've been there and ended up getting nothing. But now talk to them. Tell them what your problem is. I'm not saying agree with them because half the time you don't, but then you just talk. In the end, all right, sometimes it doesn't get you anywhere because it, it can't be done. But nine out of ten times it can be sorted and you get the answers you want. It is about empowering them. And we were really keen from the start not to um, kind of run with a parents group that was just set up by the coordinator. It has to be parent-led and, and their needs have to be matched. I do see a lot of parents and often they'll probably come to see me because there's a difficulty or we can't resolve something. And usually I'll say, once we've sorted out whatever the difficulty is, and would you like to come along and join our Parent Carers Forum? So I think by getting in people who've had experience of where maybe they've not understood, or they've found us not responsive, or blocking, or just sharing conflict with us, that actually they bring that experience in that um, means they're, they are good at helping us reach the parents who are I don't like the phrase hard to reach because that implies that's, a, that's the parents' problem. The parents haven't got a problem, it's our job to reach them and if we're finding it hard to reach them then we need to, to change our things. I think it's important that we have an equal relationship. Clearly we, um, the local authority has, the, um, has to make uh, budget, budgetary and um, revenue spend decisions but we have to be informed by um, what's important for families, what's important for people. When parents have been had their views taken into account, I think it's absolute key to everything to feed back the outcomes of that and to see the change. And I think particularly over the past 18 months, pods have seen a big change to, to having their voice heard. My door is always open to, to families, to parents. Uh, they, know, they know where I work. They don't know where I live, <laughs> but they know where I work and they know my email address and they know my telephone number. And uh, I regularly have contact with parents who uh, raise concerns and raise issues. I just hope that just the, the good practice that we're sharing in in Telford and Viking with the support, you know, with the support groups, with the, you know, this, we've got a star group, we've got pods, we've got a polo, you know, that it can sort of extend out across the country really, so that all parents of any disabled child, whether it's an ASD, physical or mental disability, so they can be included in their child's life and include, you know, and we can have a say in how services and local authorities, etc. run.